All right, guys, exciting news today. Today, I am upgrading my video editing, I hope. Uh, I'm going from the Loop Deck Plus, which is a great device. I've really enjoyed uh, using this, but there's been some limitations I've found as far as the customization and expansion and everything. And watching a YouTube video, I came across the Monogram product. And so I bought it. Um, a while back and they finally finished production had enough pieces that i was able to to get it now what i got was the video editing kind of combo kit um, it ran about 800 dollars plus i had to play another 40 euro once it got to belgium for a uh, import um, so here it is it's going to be uh unboxing it and hopefully setting it up All right, Lena May, why don't you come help me take some of these pieces out here. Okay, but I don't know if I can do it. So this is kind of the brains of the unit. Oh, the one that everything will, will link to. No, this is uh, to do some video editing. Oh. So you want to take this one out? Yeah. I'll take this one wow. out. So the video specific console comes with three of the the large control dials here um, of course the brains to the unit yep gotta take them all out okay and these okay let's see what else we got wow this one okay all right, so this set, the three small dial sections. And two, two sets of the buttons and three of the large dials that not only have the spin dial, but they also have uh, touch sensitive uh, control pad on top in, in addition to the hmm? wow. wow that's such kind of nice so one of the things i liked about this is i can configure it move it around change things up to kind of fit my uh production kind of preferences here so i can you know set this up and the only thing i have to do is make sure that the pins line up uh correctly well We'll try it out and see how it works. So I'm going to hook it up and see what we can get as far as the interface. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. And I already had the software installed on my computer. This may not be the final setup. Uh, you know, I might change it around once I realize what works better. But the nice thing is, is if you see the screen, um, it shows like my layout here. If I were to remove this module and say, stick it over here. The, the software updates and and recognizes that I've moved it into that location. I mean, this is this is simply amazing the way it this uh, software can recognize this. So let's see. I want to go over to um, let's do another one. Um, and I'm using DaVinci Resolve right now, uh, trying to switch over. So here I am in DaVinci Resolve. Okay. So for this one, I can do. Um, See, a, maybe a vertical scroll, yeah. And I can adjust the sensitivity. That gives me a lot smoother control. And this is the, uh, the touch. And now I can customize it for the turn, the tilt on the X axis, and uh, change and do something different for the Y axis. Radio press or customize, press and hold. So you can do a press or a press and hold on these buttons. You can color code them if you want to set up different profiles, uh, add the label to it. I want to do a, a press and you can do keyboard shortcuts here. So I can do like a control and uh, X, control X. So now this button is basically when I press it, do a control X. Um, so I can take any of the macros that are already built into DaVinci Resolve. Or I can do an in, out, a pin to in, you know, for a quick edit in the cut screen. 
Um, so just lots of options. So I'm gonna go ahead and have fun with this, set it up, but uh, on the screen here, you can see you, it's basically got different things already set in from you know, the Adobe Suite to DaVinci Resolve, um, even your browsers, uh, the music, you know, things like Microsoft Teams and Zoom. So there's a lot of options and customizations here and you can create all these different profiles with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and try to set everything up, customize it the way I want to, to work with my workflow, and then uh, I'll, I'll check back in with you and let you know how I like it. So this is the Monogram series. This is Creative Console Master. Uh, I got the one specifically for video editing. It comes with everything you see here. All right, guys, so I've taken a couple of days to, uh, to mess around with the monogram here, uh, control panel, and I've got it set up. Uh, as you can see here, I've set it up for uh, DaVinci Resolve, since that's what I'm doing most of my editing in right now. Uh, so I've got uh, basically the, the ones, the controls that I'm probably going to use the most or the most beneficial to me, I think. So I'll just kind of go over here. I've got uh, these three button modules. You can do a press or a press and hold uh, for like a, a potato or two to get a second function. The round dials here, you can do uh, left and right rotation, of course, but it also has a press function. The orbital models, uh, as mentioned, besides doing the, the turns left and right, it also has a you know, the, the tilt function here. And you can see on the screen that uh, with each one of these, you can see it's actually reflecting the changes I make physically with on the screen. And for the, X, the tilts, um, you can set up for like MIDI controls, uh, joystick mode. You can't really do a keyboard function on this. This is one of my complaints for the, for the orbitals. Uh, but you can do uh, the horizontal and vertical scroll. And so what I did for each one of these is I set up different, uh, basically, steps that each one does. So the first one here does a step of 10 for the vertical and horizontal scroll. The center one does a three step. And then the, the last one here does a one step. So for that really fine adjustment left and right uh, setting it. You can create your own labels here. So that's what I did is I uh, changed these to make sense to me. The default when you create it though is it's going to put whatever your shortcut is or the, uh, the function you have, that's what I was gonna say down here. Okay, so let's just jump over to uh, DaVinci Resolve and basically what I have here is the um, Setup, and you can see this is uh, jumping one second left, left and right in my timeline. Uh, this is zooming in and out, uh, and then for the horizontal and vertical uh, on the tilt. If I go over to see Fairlight, uh, let's see one of these if I. Is, I was adjusting the, uh, the decibel levels there. This uh, center one drops a marker, jog it over a little bit, drop another one, uh, jog over, drop another one, and then twist left and right, you know, previous next marker. Um, I really enjoy the customization on this. The one thing that I wish is the tilt axis was more programmable. Um, that would have been really nice. And also for the dials, uh, the press and turn, I haven't quite figured out how to get that to work on these, um, but that would have been another another nice thing. But for the, the modes, the Windows OS mode for pretty much all the dials, orbitals and everything is just a horizontal and vertical scroll. That's it guys. Uh, my sons helped me pick the, the colors here and that is as easy as coming in here and changing it. Um, as you can see here, the center one, it's, you can basically customize all of it. So, uh, but you can create all these different profiles. You can basically just, you know, come in here and create a new one. Um, and these are kind of the default programs that it, it supports right now. 
And then you can also share it up to the community uh, and they can download your profile if they like it. So that's what I plan on doing with my DaVinci Resolve one. I'll, I'll upload the profile. And if you like the way I have it set up here uh, to download it. So I'll leave a link for it in the description. Uh, that's it guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks, hope you enjoy it.